By what name are you known? There are some who call me... Tim. Welcome to another episode of Timmy Talks, the channel where we talk old school magic. And today we are going to do another booster pack opening, booster pack opening number four of the channel. And if you'd like to see previous booster pack openings, you can click on the link that's appearing right now. But for today, we are going to open a pack of Fallen Empires. And before I do so, I would like to take a moment to show you some of my favorite arts in the, um, in the set of Fallen Empires. I recently saw a very interesting clip on YouTube by Mike Hatcher, where he's kind of explaining his love for the old school art. And it's very interesting. And it also made me think and go back again, why did I decide to play magic in the first place? And that was because of the art. So we are so used to looking at the value of a card or looking at how we can use a card in a deck. But at the end of the day, without the art, none of us would probably be playing magic. And if you would judge Fallen Empire on the art, it would probably be one of the best sets. So what I've done, I've selected, um, I've selected one card for each color and for the artifacts and for the land cycle. And that is my personal favorite. Obviously it's personal, so yours could be different. Let me know in the reply section below. Um, if you agree or if you disagree or if you think, how could you have skipped that card and that art, uh, let me know. So for blue, I've selected this Sea Singer. Uh, this art is made by Amy Weber. And for white, I have selected the Ecation Priest and the art is made by Drew Tucker. He has a very recognizable style. And this one, maybe you know just by looking at the art, who the artist is. Turex Chant. I just really, really like the colors on this card. It's like they're all flowing together. And then you see the face of the woman. And she's clearly chanting with that magical breath coming out of her mouth. And this is made by Richard Kane Ferguson. And for red, I have selected the Goblin Grenade. And again, the great thing about Fallen Empire is all the different types of art. So you have different Goblin Grenades, three uh, different pieces of artwork for Goblin Grenade. And I've selected this one because it feels like the Goblin is coming out of the picture frame. He's really walking towards you. And this one is made by Christopher Rush. And you probably know him from the Lightning Bolt, the original Lightning Bolt. And then this one, Delphi's Cone, and it's just, whenever I see this art, I, I always look twice, because it just looks so weird. I like the lightning in the back. In fact, I'm wondering, are these cones as well, you know, the lightning parts here in the back, are those other Delphi, Delphi's Cones? And it feels like kind of you can walk in this garden, we'll go all the way up and get electrocuted. I know, okay, it's probably not the smartest thing to do, but it, it has something. It draws you in, and that, that's what I like. This one's by Mark Tedden. And then from the land cycle, I've selected the Rainbow Veil. Just because it looks so peaceful. And look here, you can see the rainbow colors coming out. And it really fits kind of this card, this peaceful trinkle, surroundings, and also what the card does, tap it for any one mana of any color, and then you give it to your opponent. I mean, how cool is that? And this card is by Kaya, I believe, Foglio. Yes, Kaya Foglio. Just beautiful. And I love the synergy with Lantex, but okay, now I'm talking about the, uh, what the card does, and I would focus on the art, so this is beautiful. So the reason I'm showing you this is kind of to, to, make, to make a point here that when you look at a set more from an artistic point of view, Fallen Empires, despite the fact that it's usually overprinted and that, you know, it doesn't, you know, the, the Fallen Empire cards aren't played very heavily in decks. I know that, and there are some cards that are fantastic, but when you look at the 
the art Fallen Empire, in my opinion, is one of the most beautiful sets ever created by uh, Wizards of the Coast. Okay, here we go. We're going to open the pack. Slide it to the back here. Going to open it up. And I believe the two uncommons are at the back. And here we go. Un Heroism. That's the first one. And a deep spawn. Oh, that's a good, great pool. Deep spawn. Yeah, if you have a reanimator deck, you know deep spawn. Wow, and I think I actually started with the uncommons here. But that doesn't matter. What a great card, deep spawn. 6-6 six, six, Trampler. Great, amazing. And we have a Spore Clout. A Combat Medic. Let's make some space. Him to Turek. That's great. Beautiful. One of the best cards in the set. And a Dwarven Soldier. Occasion Javelineers. This card is actually better than you than you might think. I think this card deserves some more play. Look at him all ready to throw. I do think like why can he only do one damage when there are that many spears behind him? I mean, come on, you can throw some more spears, soldier. You can do it. And then the last card. Bam, another spore cloud. I believe this is Jesper Mirforce, the art here, or not. Yes, Jesper Mirforce. You see, you can recognize you can recognize the art by the style of the artist. Um, thank you for looking, for watching, um, for looking at this booster pack opening. The pack's gone, it's empty. Nothing coming out anymore. Uh, thank you for watching and see you next time at another episode of Timmy Talks, the channel where we talk old school magic. <laughs>